Hey, I'm here. What's up? Oh my god, the lighting is kind of terrible. Great, that's nice. Hi, do you like the cut? Look at look at this. Look at this. Is it not great? It is. I literally showed them a picture of uh, t is it Tyler? Tyler Ronan from uh, Tell Me Why, and they gave me this, and it's 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 not bad. It's not bad. I'm not. I don't hate it. Um, which is saying something because hair is important to me, and I'm I'm pretty careful about my hair. Let's let's real quick. Let's see if we can just fix this because I don't like how how how. There we go. Exposure is a little bit better, and then we can just turn that down a little bit. Sick. All right, it's time to go. We're 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 roll we're rolling. We're gonna just do that real quick. Nice. Cool. Nice. I'm cool with that. Okay. I have... Okay. First of all, it's been a whole week since I've last streamed, which is not... What, well, wait. It's been nearly a week. It's been one day less than a week. Not what I wanted, but I had the SATs. I had to focus. So it sucks, but we're back now. Um, and yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna... Okay. Hey, what's up, Jazz? A couple of cool things happening. First of all, what's up, Mason? First of all, um, I got something cool coming in the mail tomorrow for the stream, which is going to be so cool. You guys will see it hopefully Friday. No, Friday is going to be me playing Chapter 3 of Tell Me Why. You'll probably see it next Tuesday. Or I'll do a stream Saturday if I have no homework and I feel like it. Let's see. That's something cool. I will I will show you guys soon. It's I've wanted this thing for years, and thank you. I, I'm glad you like the haircut. It's I literally showed a picture of Tyler Ronan. If you guys saw my Twitter, that I yeah I mentioned it on there. But yeah, so that's something cool is happening. I've wanted to buy this thing for ages, but I never streamed, so it's like I don't really need it. But yeah, it's gonna be so cool when I actually get it. So tomorrow, that's gonna be I'm gonna be setting that up probably like all day tomorrow after my stream. Um another thing that I forgot what I was gonna say. Um I don't remember. But uh oh, I have a diss track coming to Ellie Beatmaker soon. You guys will see it soon. It's gonna be so cool. But yeah. Anyway, that's it. I guess we can just start because I apparently forgot everything I was gonna say. So uh here we go. It's gonna- there we go! Cool! Cool! Cool and also Pog. Uh, real quick... Okay, I just need to check Discord. Alright, let's get started. Let's turn on the controller. Hey, it actually worked. Alright. Continue. If you guys don't remember, last- last stream we found out that it was actually Allison who killed Marianne, not Tyler. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. What a beautiful game. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to conclude. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Sorry. Cool. Alright. On the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Yeah. That face in the back of that last scene looked kind of like the Ice King. I think. We're jumping straight back in to where we left off, which was not a good place. Oh, never mind. Tomorrow.
tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> he looks, oh my god. She looks much more frail and like dark. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. I forgot how this game makes me feel, man. <laughs> forgot it made me feel things. Ollie? What a waste. That scene looks different from chapter one. I killed mom. I killed her. Okay. 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 I was like super into it and then that looks different from what we saw in chapter one. And I remember chapter one broke me at the end because of Marianne's last words. Like she was trying to say something and she couldn't get it out. And that's how her last words went, I'm pretty sure. But this time she was just like, I'm gonna be okay and then falls, which I feel like pretty sure that's different. But uh otherwise, damn. Wow. Shit, dude. It's always interesting seeing the nuance. Like I was saying before, like, Marianne wasn't just a ter terrible mother who, like, always hated her children or something. They felt comfortable enough to say that they loved her and, you know, she was reading stories to them and stuff. I don't know. It's just... They still felt something for her, so of course it messed them up when, you know, she died. I also feel bad because in chapter one, I told Allison to stop making about herself. And now we know that Allison is going through possibly more than Tyler is because she was the one who killed Marianne. 
And now I just feel bad. But yo, Tyler's got the same cut as me now. Kind of. His hair is a little bit brighter. <laughs> And by a little bit, I mean that much brighter. Man, this is an interesting intro to chapter 2. It's all fun and happy, but... I guess it, it can also symbolize that they never really escaped their childhoods. Like, everything dark that happened, it's still with them, even as they're this old. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay, no, we're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. <laughs> Mood. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I... Hmm. Crummy Oops. table and wobbly chairs. Uh, I mean, they're still good. We can just sell them. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? Ooh. What's that smell? Yeah! <laughs> You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks? I got, I got an achievement for that. Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be Where a the wild animal no, superhero go. too. <laughs> what the heck? No! God damn it. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. But why? Wait, hang on. Dump, dump in cake? One can of cheers, one can of... Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Is this just a recipe for cake? That's nice. I, I, 
If anyone wants to make cake, just take a screenshot of that and see. Tell, listen, if you make it and it works, let me know. Hey, remember Volcano? Where is this boy? What are you looking at? Oh, I guess I'm about to see. Lasagna, lasagna. Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Hmm. Oh, you're quite right, love. You can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> Wait, so Tessa what, really what, did what's keep us up all there? Fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Okay. Still does, I guess. What are you? Are these childhood it's pictures? It's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Keep them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... No, that makes sense. But not really. I get it. It's just weird for seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Sure, Allison Chen asked the deeper questions. Oh. Yo, what's yeah, up, Scrub? Definitely. I'm glad you like the haircut. Really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, okay, no Once more looking at pictures, Ronan. I guess. You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. What's that? What is this? Okay. Cool. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face. Come on, smile like I was saying. Oh crap! Are we gonna get this memory? Marianne memories aren't great. <laughs> Cuz you know, Come he's on, such a complex smile, character. Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <laughs> Yoink. Okay, I'm not allowed to leave. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Ugh. Gross stain is gross. Ugh. What happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But it's hard to tell. Worry. No. I remember her saying that that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen. And that it wasn't a big deal. That's actually a but still, nice response. No more tea parties inside. Again, she's such a complex character. Like, Anyway, it's hard to tell what to say in the dialogue because a lot of the things are very, like, you know, it could go either way with the response. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I would if I was a fish, too. fish. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Who's Eddie again? I don't remember. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair. Yes. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. 
I don't know if any, uh, how many of you are still, wa like, how many of you remember last stream, chapter one of this game? But if you remember who Eddie was, I'd appreciate it, because I don't know. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Hell yeah, new collectible. Goblins were here. That's cute. We missed a collectible last time, which is annoying. I was but it's fine. What to do with this? Oops. Uh 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 keep it. It says it goblins were here. Expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Yeah. What were you saying to me? Cut him off and I missed the dialogue. Okay, I think I already looked at all this stuff. Let's. I think we're. Are we really trashing this entire room? Is this real? Yeah, we're not going in here. Okay, so this room's just done. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the Magpie. That's kind of how houses work. Hello, like, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Okay, I guess that's all trashed. Who needs the laundry? You know what I mean? Who needs to do the laundry? Just buy new clothes every time. We the don't really oh, want to keep hi. anything in here. Jesus. Right? I thought he was behind me. Um Yeah, what, what was I gonna say? The atmosphere is really nice, but I keep getting like scared that something bad's gonna happen because it's just so calm right now. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. I don't know, man. It's a dresser. Keep it. Sure. Keeping it. I don't know furniture. I don't know how much this stuff costs. I haven't lived on my own yet. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh yeah, sniff it. Let's see what let's see what happens with that. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. It's oh, it's God. been a decade, I dude. I still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, I don't see anything else. Did you want to talk to me about something? He was alluding to something, and I didn't listen. So that's nice. Like, the thing is, I don't know what this stuff costs, and I don't know if they want to keep it. What? What is that? That's Allison, a goblin. I asked you to clean up the coffee table oh. three times already. Oops. Oops. I forgot. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll Damn. Clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. He's gonna I'm sit down. Is he? You want to keep the coffee table? Uh, let's. What do you want? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali, and if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. That's not okay. Oh, there's a trash can there. All right. I'll keep it. Are you going to keep doing that? Uh -huh. I really like that armchair. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Another one for the landfill. <sighs> yes, you are. Haha. <laughs> Can I know him? Fun, are we? How much can I know him? How, ba how bad can this get? I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Tyler, how do you feel about this? 
I really want a cutscene to happen where he just beats the shit out of me. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Anyway, I guess I guess his dialogue's done. Come take a break with me. I guess his dialogue's done with that. I was really hoping he just gets super pissed off. But uh I guess not. I'll hang out with him in a sec. I just wanna see if there's anything else I can trigger over here. Doesn't look like it. But it's it's still telling me I can pick this up for some reason. Starting the fire again? Hey yeah, Gordy, what's I'm up? I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh, can I respond? Oh. Uh I don't drink either. Let's get some Would you coffee. Have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm. Nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm -hmm. <sighs> How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Long Ten time years. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, oh, Eddie's the police officer. The Ice King is sending us a warning. What do you want? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah, my legs are flying. The binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Why are you telling me to go take a look? It's two feet away, bro. <laughs> Thank. All right, wait. Is this not the kitchen drawer? Oh, okay, so he was gonna take a look for me. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. My posture strike. Thank you for that. <laughs> I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? I'll hydrate. Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. No, and she was the ice king. She was all alone in the woods, in this house. Until we showed up. Right? She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. I think this is important, because it's possible that Marianne had delusions or something, which is what led to her pointing the gun at Ronan. At Tyler, I mean. They're both Ronan. But, um, yeah, I think it is important to look at the Book of Goblins. I actually wanted to do that, because I wanted to know. Can I? Wait, first of all. Okay, so we have, okay, I don't really want to go through all these stories, but I feel like some of them probably have foreshadowing or allusions to certain things that will happen or, like, that happened in the past because i feel like marianne must have had delusions or something um because i think she saw the ice king when she was pointing the gun at tyler a young tyler i mean anyway let's see let's see what what this memory is about it's hard to tell it's hard to tell who these people are. I'm kind of confused. Um, I assume one is Ed, which would probably be the middle one. That's Sam, and that might be Tessa. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? 
Kind of ironic, huh? Ed? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Okay, so this one's Eddie, because fishing and also... Um, you go here. Yes. Perfect. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. Said it's Tesla. Yeah, but there was always a catch. Oh no. Tessa wouldn't ask for a catch. The bear was the most helpful one. So this one's he Tessa. Was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, hey, he kind of always there. Lurking. You done? Oh, so this might be Sam actually. But Tessa's never asked for a catch. You know, she's never had like all right, I think I'm done. You sure? Hang on, wait, I need a second, actually. On second thought, let me just give it a once over. Okay, so the just and fisherman moose is probably Eddie, who it looks like is the one in the middle. Tessa would never ask for, she would never have a catch for the stuff that she gives uh, Marianne. What was this guy's description again? Apparently he was stalking her. But Sam never stalked her. Did he? And also, let's look at how they look. I mean, are they... Don't talk to me. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm stumped. Oh, what do you guys think? Pelican for... Tessa or for Sam? Because has Sam ever asked for a catch as well? Sam might have been stalking her, though. It kind of makes sense. They say he for the bear, and I feel like... Yeah, let's just show it to Tyler, and let's hope. This time, I've got it. We'll see. Definitely. Let's go. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't Wait, see them being real-life people, or this one. Who? Where? Huh? Also, I just got an achievement for figuring it out, so clearly I got it right. So, wait. If I... Okay. No other things for that, but... Yep. Totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. Jesus. Is this the ice king? Are they not going to give me any dialogue on it? The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. Come on, give me something. You just... Okay, I guess I get no explanation for that. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch you! Oh, that's the Mad Hunter! This way! <gasps> what's... What's going on? This reminds me of the medium. What? I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? So it wasn't delusions? It was real? Allison. I mean, they have superpowers, Wait. kind of. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. What's the We're point of this game? It's a this conversation. It's a story game. How the fuck do you forget about fucking forest creatures phasing Morning, through the wall? Sam. Yeah. Ahoy, goblins. Through a I dark dimensional portal. He said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... I mean, they were children. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Hey, I got good. Sam's respect last time. Good. 
And I got a knife. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. I'm hungry, dude. This is making me hungry. <laughs> uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. They should have been scarred by that damn smile. Yeah, but they're kids, right? Like they didn't even realize that their telepathy was real until just now, like last chapter. So it kind of makes sense. I guess. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. I want like a quick time event. I don't know if they do that in this game though. Why are you walking so slow? Look, I know your jacket's cool and all, but you can't walk this damn slow, Tyler. God damn. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Three years ago. Outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. That's why I look so shit. <laughs> you really helped Mary? All right, sure. Let's let's praise him a little bit, because he needs that he needs that praising. I was glad to help. He needs our validation. Mother, she. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, hang on. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. <laughs> <laughs> Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so uh Nope. We're good. Thank you. <laughs> Fair warning. It was a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. No shit. Hey, don't say that. We're younger than you. You can't curse in front of us. What's wrong with you? Did I just fail? <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> That's another one of our powers. The door is open now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's easy enough to fix. Even I could fix that. No, Come on now. Wait, box. hang on. This is not no, how doors no, no. work. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. Yeah. That's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's look around a bit. What are we seeing in here? Well, we're not seeing much because it's dark as fuck in here. Can I go through here? Nope. Pretty sure that's the room where uh, our mom started chasing us. I guess there's nothing for me to touch in here. Alright. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Okay, well, first of all, I'll read this. I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run because you wanna check it out. Careful not to overload the circuits. You have to use a fifth. You have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Pretty proud of myself for once I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Is that is that what I was looking at here? Yes. And this. Um, main range, uh, dryer, water heater, outlet, lights, gener- kitchen? What the fuck? Dude, my dad's an engineer. I'll go call him. <laughs> okay, wait. So, t 
Is this a puzzle I'm supposed to figure out, or do I just do clicks? Um, oh, well, I guess, yeah, what do I want? What do I want on? Probably the kitchen, right? So if I do this one, it should turn on the kitchen. Fuck! <laughs> Crap! Okay. Uh... You have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 for the whole house. Each fuse should have the correct color cable. Okay, so 15 for the garage. The garage is number 6. Which is that one. And it's white. So does that mean that the white ones are 15 amp? Question I feel like I'm supposed to be doing math, but I don't know if I'm figuring this out correctly at all. Okay. Total up to 120 for the whole house. 15 amp fuses fuses for the garage. And the fuses show the right color cable. So if we know that's 15, the blue one in the bottom right over there, then 15, does white, white go to blue? Uh, 120 for the total, for the whole house. Okay, wait. Okay, <laughs> this sucks. Um, okay, so, and when we look here, it should be a total of 120. Okay, wait, no, this is easy. This one should be 15. Let's try this one. Okay, so that totals up to 30. So we have, uh, 90 left, right? It's 120, right? Yeah, we have 90 left. We have one here. So this one's probably a 30. And if these are all 20s, that'd be 60. Yep, okay. I figured it out. I don't know if anyone kept up with me while I was doing that. If you're watching on YouTube, you almost definitely didn't because I might have just cut everything out. Who knows? But actually, it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty stupid. I'm sure people will enjoy watching me struggle. But, I think we figured it out. I think I just fixed the entire fuse box. Hmm. Seems good. Look at me. I'm literally a boss-ass bitch. And you cannot say otherwise. I'm the bossest assest bitch. Damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. All right, bye. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. <sighs> Remind me to take it down later. Preto rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Are you, you serious? Not spill it on your shoes. Uh, tell? Explain? A story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> well, no rats in your shoes now. You <laughs> fixed that problem. It's not funny. Sure thing, B boy. Hot piss, baby. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Hey there, little buddy. If we end up living together, 
You should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Yeah, you don't need to kill them. Just toss them outside. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take Is this a car? Sell the scrap. Yeah, do that. That's smart, actually. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Like, yeah, you should always take stuff apart and just learn how it works, in my opinion. And make some money with it. Toss them out to then destroy them. Jesus. Found Marianne's stash. Stash of what? Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry, huh, birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Allison, do you know who this is? Is it dad? What did you find? Oh crap, wait, you know is it actually dad? Is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. Oh, no. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. First of all, is there anything else in here? I feel something strong. It's making my teeth tingle. It's probably the cold. Where am I looking? Did I go past it? I totally did! Alright, let's stand on this side. Alright, children, where are you taking me? His unbrushed teeth? Why do you think he doesn't brush? She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Oh shit. I had to make that call. What? What call? What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going what? on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. Water. Hydrate, I mean. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Uh, okay. Where is... Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. And Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. 
And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? There's so much. I mean, she would she would be prone must to have defend had his him. For not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing, huh? I'm gonna. I went with Tyler's last time, so I'm gonna go with Allison's this time. Get out. Cause I also doubt. I, I feel like Marianne wouldn't be the one to scream and throw things. Cause according to Tessa, she was really open and kind and supportive. I I don't know if she'd be the one to lose her shit like that. Then again, we don't know much better. We know that she was probably abusive and and you know, but it could be emotionally abusive. We have no idea. Cause here's the thing. Oh wait, but crap. Um, she was crap. Oh god. Okay. Cause this feels like a decision that's actually important. She was kind of. Hit... It was the day that she threatened Tyler with a gun, and around that time she was starting to lose it. Right. And I say that as respectfully as I can. She was starting to act ang like she was starting to feel angry constantly she yelled at tyler for trying to go to i think a sports thing or something so i'm gonna go with tyler's memory actually because i feel like she would be angry in that time goddamn hypocrite get out of here get off my property right now So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she had I don't know if that was the right call. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. Yeah, we need to but talk to him about it. what these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. I don't know if that's the right call. Those those decisions are generally important. It might have been right to go with Allison because Allison is more. Man, I can't believe uh, Brown lied. I mean, like she I knows may not be Brown the guy's more. Biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy? But I, either way, he lied. So. I know you've been waiting for something like this, something that proves Eddie's an asshole, but gloating about it is really not cool. It's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. Don't take a call while you're driving. Come on. Oh well. Okay. Well, she did say she was parking before she talked. So that's 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 good. That's smart. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No. Just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, there's an airplane uh, outside that's really loud. Fine. They're just in the area for a couple of days. I thought it was so in-game. Like by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hon, this guy is very motivated. But I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. I don't think. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's <laughs> shit list. Who cares? I don't know who Tina even is. Okay, to, here's the thing. I don't think it's a good idea to just take that cash and be like, you know, and because there's so much history in these in those walls that are gonna be important. So I'd rather not rush to get rid of the house. 
How much you want to bet there's a figurine somewhere around here? Come on. Seriously, look at this place. Come on. It, 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 it's, I'm so surprised that it's not in the tree. Like... But yeah. All cash offer, it seems suspicious. I don't know why he wants the house so bad, but... I'd rather not just give it up like that. Can I run? Any buttons to run? Doesn't look like it. I guess I'll suffer. Um... What are you? God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. Whoa. Not bad. What are those lines on the trees? Is that like a hunting thing? I don't know, man. I don't live in Alaska. I wouldn't know. But, uh, okay, let's go find Tyler. I, I assume that he's back that way. I just real quick want to see what's up here. And then we'll go find him. Oh wait, I think both paths lead here anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, you see him over there. Trees marked to be cut down. Oh, you're right. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? It's interesting that he's running for mayor. I feel like that's gotta tie into something, cause it's been going for so long. They've never mentioned it, you know. What kind of what kind of story are they trying to tell? A couple years ago, we drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Okay, all right, let's get out of here. I don't even know who D is. I can't tell if these are people that I'm just forgetting or that were just never mentioned. The artist really nailed this one. Whoa. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? It's a red panda, is it? I feel like I've been here before. I think it's a fox. Which are, like, they're very similar. So? From what Tina? I know. Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. Yeah, we've never heard about Tina West. What'd she need? She had Maybe someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? Then I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. They're probably gonna live with that third guy too, so, so like... Four, Tina called. Getting a house talking. would be pretty easy. Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I don't, I don't like the fighting. Life, Allison. I don't like you. Just it. want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Yell at other people. Don't yell at each other. Uh. Huh? You gonna sulk all day? Are you planning Loser? to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. Um. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. You want to be the Lorax? Yes! Lorax Ronin, let's go! <laughs> this is such a beautiful game. Is it starting to snow? Hell yeah! You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay. Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, 
and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. He literally admitted he did. It was a cool what? game. What does he Guessing mean? Where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. He says with that jacket you on. right to call me out earlier. <laughs> I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the. I guess I can't make fun of him. I mean, maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. What's with the lag? Jesus! I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. So, did you guys hear Undertale's on the Game Pass? Because I, I just. I just remembered, and Jesus, <laughs> that game's old, and I never got a chance to play it. So I have to warn you. I'm so hyped. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not ten years old anymore. Yeah, let's beat the shit out. Of What's Undertale? It's this cool game. He'll I'll probably say I'll he's too busy that. to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict, just answers. Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure. That's all. I know. I need some of it, too. Oh, now you're coming here. That's why this was here. Hey, look what I found. Okay, first of all, Undertale is this game. It's, like, it's very beloved, and it's got, like, cool mechanics and like you yeah you do a lot it's like i think it's like top down perspective like 2d um i think it's pixel art it might not be pixel art but yeah so anyway it's coming to game pass or it's already on game pass maybe and that's probably gonna be a new stream coming soon but first i gotta finish hall night um speaking of i just wanted to say i will be uh posting stuff on youtube very soon hopefully so Wow, excuse me. So as soon as I am able to get some of my backlog of streams onto YouTube, is that game with Megalovania or whatever? I think it is, yeah. So as soon as I'm able to get all of my, at least some of my backlog of streams onto YouTube, I'll start playing games off stream and posting them on YouTube. Because there's a lot of times when I want to play games, but like I'm not always on or someone might walk into my room and, you know, I can't do that when I'm live, but when I'm recording, I can just cut it out. So, yeah. Just want to let you guys know. Let's check this out. What is this? Aw. Aha! I knew it was still here. Oh, are you the YouTuber? Here oh, yeah, I got a custom URL for my YouTube channel as well. Kingdom. And it still is. YouTube.com slash Ace. Little update. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're well, right. That knife was helpful. Way better. Tia, yeah. I assume so. I wasn't sure how he would cover up the O. He did not do it well, but it happened. Corrected the old graffiti on the tree. That's the achievement we just got. Now to go so, bully bully our line? father figure. Or one of our father figures. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. Calmly, right. huh? 
Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. How about no? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Calmness is for pacifists. Oh, wait, I can move. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler. What? What? Denise. What? Denise. What? What do you Tyler. want? Hi. Hi, I'm Tyler. Okay, bye. Wilson. Oh, you tell fuck. Officer Vincenzi that I'll be. Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Are you not he gonna? Doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. You're not gonna say yeah, hi. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Yeah, didn't you say good morning to me? What the fuck? He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Uh, is this? Wait, what's this? Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were gonna be knee deep in trash for a few days. This is just days. I want to know what. Oh, I can't talk to him. Around. Chief's gonna take care of the victim. Here out of thin air. Ah, copy. Yes. Better get cracking on that arrest then. Later. Okay. Does this give me option to talk now? How is Linda? Yes. I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. And she started working over at the high school. Hey, he speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? I bet Brendan's thrilled. It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. Well, Excuse I know me. she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Yeah. I was lucky to have you. I loved working with those kids. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, What's up, Emma? they Welcome were so to proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Uh, what JCE? is that? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. 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 Do people around here know? No. So, keep it under your hat. You know how it is out here. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Dr. Torres. Talking to her was nice. Yes, sure. I'll need her information. Oh, no. Are you done? What? Hello? So, I, uh, Chief Brown's taking a statement, but you might be able to snag him when he's done. Does she okay. No, her father has Are you? <laughs> she okay? My hours. She stays with me on the I clearly missed something. Okay, I guess I'll walk around. So Good morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. Do I get I to do to taking this a policeman mission? Chat right now. Maybe? We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need Did to get you? back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Did you tell us everything? I don't think that's true. Let us do a police mission. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Well, obviously, I'm not gonna say we can't do much. Obviously, not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Oh, yeah. 
incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. What is this mailbox bandit about? We learned about this earlier, too. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. Let's listen to this. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. I know that could get into it's her computer, I think. I'm a surgical resident. Okay, I don't care about this. Um, last time we saw in her locker Let's that we could. Tyler. Rebecca Chen. I'm. I said it earlier, but I'm pretty sure I recognize her. All right, let's talk to this guy. Who are you? Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh. Welcome home. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? I... I don't know if that's something I should ask him. Um... Busy day around See, here? how's your day? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. Aren't you a police station? <laughs> Not... I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. So, Tyler, chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Craig's, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? Well, well yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh. And why not? We're short-handed right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Could you go through the full details of your Well, I'm not doing that ever at all. Of course. No, thank you. Get out of my way. What are you doing? I five. All right. I think she said go upstairs, but I'm pretty sure I can go through here, can I? No. I literally unlocked this place earlier. Okay, great. Mailbox Bandit Investigation Confirmed Locations. Three, five, three, eight, Pequa? Governor? Okay, I don't know what any of that means. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, as if. Yeah, that's not happening, sorry. <laughs> no way. I think there's an achievement to figure out who the bandit is, the mailbox bandit, but reading is good for the eyes. You know what else is good for the eyes? Not looking at a screen for like, at small letters on a screen for 10 minutes. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Nothing. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water. You know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Did Greg's mention something? Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Ooh. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. Skirt, skirt. The full details of your morning with you, Dr. Torres. Of course. I woke up Why are we? Oh, this. <laughs> I was like, what do you want me to do? There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. No! Wait, really? Got a better idea? Uh, I'm a bad actor. Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Alright, guys. Uh... 
emergency evacuation exercises throughout the week every morning at 8 30 a.m blah 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 okay um all right no. let's kill a police officer in this report? <laughs> that's uh, that's the diversion <laughs> all right what about uh front desk lobby person okay well please don't please <laughs> okay i thought i was about to turn it off I just want to look around a little bit more. I want to talk to the, uh, frick, what was her name? Uh, you. I can't talk to her. Okay, um, anything else? Anything else anywhere around here? Okay, well, why is that door closed if I can just go around? Like, I can just go, can I go in here? I totally can. Yo, what's up, homie? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> what am I reading? Oh, reception. Receptionist! That was the word, word, word I was looking for. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. It's kind of messy, but I mean... Sure. Okay. Okay, we got a couple options. I'm just trying to see if there's something, like, that could also trigger a side story. Because there's a lot of side stories in this game. I don't think that's going to give me anything. Because if you look around thoroughly enough... Okay, I think I'm just going to tip it over because I feel like turning off the lights... Um... Was there any dial- what was the dialogue he said? See, I feel like turning off the lights is easier for them to be like, why'd you do that? If I go tip over the books, they can just be like, ah, you idiot. You dumb idiot. And move on. So let's just do this one. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. It's two books. Is it, was that enough to just get everyone's attention? Are you serious? All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Okay. See you. You head now. I need a smoke. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. There's winter hair. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. Okay, so... What's this? Oh, I can run! Let's go! Finally. Oh god. Oh god, I hate this. So that mailbox bandit struck again, huh? Apparently so. Okay. I still want to know what's happening with that. Are there fireworks going on? Wait, what's this? Uh, who's kooky enough to bike to work at sub zero weather? That would be Vincenzi. He's got a bike for every season. That's the fakest name. What's this one called? Duncan Rocket. What are you? Uh, is that supposed to be Greg's? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Who's yep. the artist? Cold case. Oh, they don't know who the artist is. What is that red warehouse part of the whole chicken farm business? You know it. The shooting range now. Ah. Okay. Let's go around a little bit, because I'm sure there's some interesting stuff around here. Maybe a little Fire bit of a collectible? Right oh, nope. Guess no collectible for me, that's great. Shit, where are you? Right here, open the door. Hey! Destiny. Own it. 
Yeah. All right. Let's get in here now. <laughs> Let me in. I know what I'm here for. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. You'll find clues your invitation for the annual social... <laughs> I've included a plus one on the chance that one day you'll use it. Because you have no friends. Okay. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not... Uh, but I want to mess with it, though. Come on, Allison. It's funny. Personnel files. Imagine... Budgets. Okay, I was literally thinking... Okay, I was Zero listening... Files. I was listening to a podcast uh, earlier, and they suggested, like... They were like, oh, you know, weddings, you have to, like, put in all the work to make sure, you know, family seating next to family, and they don't all fight. What if you... What if I did a wedding? See, okay... If I ever get married, my whole, all I want is to just have a nice little thing on the beach. Small, like maybe less than 10 people probably. Including me, the, the bride or groom or whoever, and the uh, person who marries us. So I was like, what if I do a fake wedding after that one where I see everyone, anything? where I see everyone perfectly, where they all fight <laughs> Like, everyone hates the person who's at their table. It'd be oh. so good. Anyway. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Feel bad. You should. You broke into his office. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Oh, am I really going to read this? Yes. <laughs> Why is Brown on a first-name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find it and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but... <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Yeah, word. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Okay, no, she's right. I just want to find the thing that I want. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Oh, that sucks. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. Um. Okay. They're just saying that this person might This guy work. has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's all- Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? That's pretty funny. Um, okay. Interesting. Oh, <gasps> is that collectible? Oh, it totally is. Hey, you. Let's go. I knew that we'd find something somewhere soon. Though... We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> That's a sibling move. How old is Brown? Thirty-eight. Oh wow! He graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Why is there always the youngest in every game? <laughs> So he's like, oh, this main character was the youngest to do the thing. He's super cool. Excuse me. Hello? Did I just trap myself? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so did we not find anything? 
I'm not seeing anything. I mean, oh, I guess I can always just leave. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. But I looked everywhere in Eddie's office. What the heck? What am I looking for? What am I looking- Why can I not look in this cabinet with all of the content? Like, that's where it would probably be. Is there anything I missed? Looks here? like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. I think this is the Allison one. You've been accepted to a contemporary drama summer program in the College of Fine Arts at Juno University. Wait, didn't we just hear something about Juno? I'm pretty sure we literally just did. I feel we didn't look at this one too closely. But I think it's because it wasn't important. Where should I be looking? Maybe... Did I miss something in here? Potentially? Are you sure you checked all the emails? I can check emails? So we are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that... Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. How do I look at the emails though? Oh, I just missed it because it was a white screen. Great. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R six eight six five three. R six eight six five three. It hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals in the archives for other references about the case. Um, R68653, R68653, just in case uh -huh. we forget. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Um, okay. Your presence required blah blah blah. We're talking about implicit bias. Has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We all can benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. Implicit bias. I, I assume that's like internal, like, judging someone from the words. Uh, you hit reply all, Sherlock. Who pissed in her cereal this morning? Okay. <laughs> so, well, oh wait, I can scroll. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink better learn to clean up after themselves. Okay, yeah. So Maria, all all of Olivar tried to tell them to do something, and then Greg's, I guess idiotically sent a reply to all of them including her r 6 a 6 the archives that's got to be where our file is all right let's get out of here but yeah that's pretty funny i like all the just unneeded lore in, in some of this stuff this is private this is the rec well i did say at the piss man okay wait what are we doing Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? 0164 something. The door. I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. I don't think that's the right order. Dun, da, de, do. Yes. Genius over here. I missed a memory though, but genius. Ah, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. 
They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Jesus. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yep. By the way, this I just realized. So fun for you. We now know they're 21. Keep a lookout. I just realized that what? when they're talking to Greg, Why they to revealed the their age. Box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Okay. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> about any of that. Nope. What's this? Here we R68. Go. Six five three. Uh, step by step record of the investigation. Notified by my partner, Officer Christian Officer Christian Holt, of accident at Twelve Canary Road. White female identifies Mary Ra Mary Ann Ronan, falling over deck into the lake. Holt and I arrive at the scene, briefed by blah blah. blah. Locate witnesses. Miner's name redacted. Date of birth, 3-7-94, children of Mary and Ronan. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire, distru dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of Brown. Completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed Raz Razzler 3121 shotgun. Bullets recovered from location. Unlicensed shotgun, huh? Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. When Ronan fled from her, he she pursued Child to the docks. He stabbed her, who is still no. Yeah, so it would probably say that he stabbed her, who is still threatening the child before falling over into the water. They called 911 shortly after. Did not recover a pair of scissors, which I guess means that they couldn't get the fingerprints. Charged uh, Tyler Ronan with homicide. Jesus. I mean, we already knew it, but still harsh. Alright, so what are we looking for now? Am I really gonna have to look through all of this? This is what I get for not memorizing the numbers. <laughs> Alright, let's try this there one. There might be other references on the computer. Oh, thank god, I don't have to look through all of them. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Um, wait, what am I, okay, wait, tags, and then, okay. Two case files found as a result of your search. 24-hour homicide report, victim information, R61889. Personal information, and rap sheet, ooh, that's actually interesting. R62766. Um, let's do this one first, R62766. References. 05 R62 766. There's so much crap. Um, did I miss it? There's more. Jesus, there's way too many. Okay, wait. So there's one here that's R66, which is not what I want. Um, is it this one? No, that's not it. 
It was 05R62. Jesus, this is like frustrating. Nope. You no. finding anything? Zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. R sixty three R sixty eight R sixty one. There's no R sixty two. Not this one either. No, that's not it. Yeah, I know it's not it. You know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught, so... Look, she's right, but I'm still gonna complain to her. <laughs> uh... R62... I mean, all of the R6 something are over here. And I'm not seeing it. Alright, I guess I'll look at the other one. R six one eight 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 nine. Need to check out zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. That one I know the location of. Maybe the other one will appear after I do the first one. Maybe they just didn't want me skipping ahead. Uh, blah blah blah. Threatened her child with a gun. Child stabbed her with a pair of scissors. Victim subsequently fell into the lake. Da 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 da. Okay. Cool. Means nothing to me, because we already knew all this. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Forty-one-year-old white female exited her home and, at her, oh wait, at around what is that? Ten o'clock. Entered her garage, started loading a shotgun. Shortly after, her child, eleven years old, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister. According to witness, um. Witness the statement. When she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened him with shotgun. Ronan fled the garage toward the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out onto the dock on the southern side of the property. Um. At that time, both. Jeez, there's so much to read. Okay, my brain. My brain is not big enough for this. Okay, I don't really care about any of this, actually. We got what we needed. Um, I mean, I understood that they weren't really clear about... Please don't tell me this is the one I needed. R62, are you serious? There might be other references on the computer. Motherfucker. That's the one I needed. Alright, well, let's find this one first. References... 05 R62 766. I just want to know her rap sheet. Oh, wait, this is our autopsy report. I thought it was a rap sheet. Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. What? Oh, wow. Uh, that sucks. Sorry shit. to hear that. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stall him. I got Stall more to him. look at. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, say I went for a smoke. Yeah. It lines up with what we were saying before. Dallas Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. Where? Home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? T 12 Cannery Road. P please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Oh, wow. Found a recording of the twins' 911 call. Hydrate. 
Bro, I'm gonna have to take a piss break. Y'all are really gonna force me to take a piss break. Ooh, Think another of. thing. Fax information. I need to check out 0501COMEBR. 01. Patapa, ha patata. You. Okay, here it is. Yeah, baby. You know how it is. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Oh. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Well, let's just check just real quick and make sure that we're good. Because there's so many different ta- Oh, there's another one. Marianne? Ronan? Okay, is there anything else? Oh, okay, I want to listen to this first. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Oh my god, wait, there's so much to look at. DUI complaint. All right, well, let's look for this one first. References 2014-201-496. 2014-2014, basically. There's so much to figure out. There's just so much content and, like, information. It's almost impossible to go through all of it. Here we go. Not helpful at all. Okay. I didn't think his DUI would be inf information, but I thought I'd just check in case. But, um, the other one might be. I hope I'm not in a timer, like a hidden timer. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Okay, I can do that. I think it was Eddie Brown, yep. Um. Okay, I need to check out 2014, 203, this one. There. Ah, oh, this is actually actually getting kind of interesting. Like I was at first, I was like, oh, I don't want to look through all these case files, That'd but be helpful. Now I have to actually figure out what to look for. Like I need to figure out what I'm looking for. I I'm not just going along with the story, which is nice, because uh, I feel like sometimes with this game, it's like it's just pushing you through the story. Complaints, right? Look for that. Um. Wait, hang on. Too many documents. Refine your search. Bingo. Theft report plus child neglect from v Vecchi or v Vecchi? References from Tom, the mayor dude. Five two zero one five four six. Two two thousand five two zero one. I think it said. Um. There's so many files. Okay, here it is. Wait, what the hell? That's an accuser of child neglect. Oh. Oh, I, rem I forgot that Tessa's husband was the mayor, dude. Um, say that she observed Ronan browse the island for proxenus while Chang distracted with her behind the and did not have a direct account. Say that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Becky if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. 
Um, believe the demand was odd. After five minutes, she walked back to the aisle where Rona had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. She had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. To say that she had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. She also had the reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Holy shit. I need to get moving. No, I don't. Oh. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Well, hide. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey. Get off me. You'd rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Oh, I want to yell at him so bad. I really want to hit Y, but... We got to defuse the situation. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay, I think, think we saved it. Okay. Ronan's quick to scream yeah. at people, right. and a lot of the time he's right. We need to talk. But, and I wanted to yell at him really bad, but I think that would have destroyed it. I think we would have been kicked out without getting any information out of him. But if that was a quick time event, I would have screamed at him, probably. The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed, and... plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. I can't yeah. believe we've been going for nearly two hours. Holy shit. <laughs> he was always just scraping by. I've been so invested. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Oh, wait, I didn't want to go after Allison. 
I feel like that was kind of a zinger at Allison. You keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Yeah, but you're a cop. So no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, that's not really what I wanted, but I guess, I guess it had to happen. Oh, that feels kind of bad, but it had to happen. Um, so interestingly, these kids didn't want their uh, possibly abusive mother to, like, you know, have to talk with child services, which is interesting. Because I would have thought that they would, but I mean, I guess they still loved her and didn't realize what she was doing. I don't know. It's hard to tell because we haven't really seen their life. Yeah, let's go. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Sure, whatever. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. W Wilson's nice, Officer Wilson. Not the real Wilson. <laughs> you kids be careful out there, yeah? Okay, so they're not mad at us. I didn't want to destroy my relationship with Officer Wilson after getting yelled at. The real Wilson's scary. Yeah, right. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Discovered intel about Marianne's past and her death. The achievement we got was called Cold Case. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. <sighs> I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? <sighs> okay, well, I wanna go talk to these people, cause... I stopped to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I, I was oh, hey, actually. Tyler, oh, Michael. From the boat, right? I didn't recognize Michael for some reason. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? 
What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. No? Tell me, or I'll kill you. I have powers. <laughs> I don't have killing powers. You two just can't stay away. I do huh? have a knife, though. Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. I'm sure the telepathy will help me kill them, though. Uh, I think Tom isn't going to help you. know her. if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Well, okay. I should have asked anyway about Tom, but oops. All right, what, what are you up to, bud? Doing some shopping. Just looking for the woman who runs the place. The shopkeeper's wife? Can't say I've seen her around. Have a nice day, sir. Oh, hi. All right, um, we could use some of that at the house. Let's see. I'm feeling a collectible somewhere nearby, maybe. But before we go in there, let's just look around a bit, see if we can find one. I'm probably going to replay this game on my oh, own. Oh man, I haven't had this cereal in forever. And get all of the collectibles and stuff. And I'll post it on Twitter when I do. Stripes candy? Never heard of it. If I do. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Why are you saying out loud? Yes, pick some. Oh, I can't. Huh, get fucked, Allison. You thought I cared. Uh huh. <laughs> um. I thought you were shopping. Why is she following me? Alright, let's see what's in here. Hello! Housekeeping? Oh, fog champ. Was the f carpet always this vibrant? What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Let well, me T-pose on him. A meeting with the Alaska <laughs> Let me T-pose on him. Try to support. <laughs> Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at All the right. meeting. Can I... I should be on my way over soon. Can I look through his shit? Nope, I can't. I'm very chaotic right now for some reason. Can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. We already know she reported. So let's talk about Why this. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but... You know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Uh, I mean, he is a politician, but I think he's right here. I mean, you know, you and your wife are a couple, but you're still two different people. So. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. 
Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Ah. Yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Oh Mom, shit, they don't even exactly know the father. a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Tom's our father. It could be Sam or it could look, be Eddie. Look, I, I don't think it's Tom. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? Yeah, are we really gonna bombard her at the graveyard? I'm really excited about going Are you serious? Back. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just Tyler, why are you at? Why do you want to meet at the... What? <laughs> Hello? Where'd that question about our father come from? Oh, I don't know. It was a weird thing to ask, I guess. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said. I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. We should not go! So should we just not go then? No, of course not. We're going to go. I just... I need to feel how I'm gonna feel about it right now. Okay. I'm sorry for getting frustrated. It is what it is, right? Go have fun with Michael while I close the register. Alright, well, yoink some cash for me. Thanks, bye. <laughs> I cannot believe that they're both down to just go and bombard her at, like, yeah, it's fine. Alright, All right. hey. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Your job's not that hard. I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, alright? Go to the back of the room and, uh... Tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye aye. Moto Bene something. Are these it? Cheddar dip? Uh, yuck. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of the jar. Ew. Oh, God. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm not tall enough to check apparently. Ma didn't he say, he said Monte Benny something something right? And what does back of the room mean? Does it mean over here? That looks like flour, which is not what we want. And that looks like paint. Why am I standing here looking at this? I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. Okay. Thanks. Maybe it's the paint. Is it the paint? We could use some of that at the house. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? I can't tell if I'm incredibly stupid. Um, and that's the end of that sentence. <laughs> that's it. Uh, there it is. Found it. Yeah, boy. Hold on. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. 
Uh, where is that? And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Found it. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right. I think I can work with that. There's six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Is it really asking me to just count? Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okay, so he actually seems kind of nice. I was kind of worried about him for a bit. I was like, I feel like this is a red herring, and he's actually gonna be like some what's that? horrible your opinion killer. On this masterpiece. <laughs> is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, I'm gonna be supportive. It's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is he is flirting with me? I was out there doing your work. What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep. One last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? That box over there. Uh, are you going to make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but Whee! no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, uh, you're one? too kind. You found the box of plushies? No. This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Is this the Bible? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure this is the Bible poster. I drank this at a party once. Um. It did not end well. Crap. Any good stories? I mean, probably. But nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Where are we looking? Is it over there? What am I looking for? Where am I looking for this? Let's just relax, to be honest. Are you tired already? Are you tired already? Let me sit. How dare you? I guess I'm not allowed to sit. Uh, alright, let's look Is at all this stuff. Amazing, yes, I knew it. Called it. Well, I called it like 30, not 30 minutes, like 10 minutes ago maybe. But I did say there'd be something in here. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? And we yeah, got the mange. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> For the record, so... You're serious? Oh. Control disconnected. You know what? Batteries died, and I knew that it would happen, and I got extra batteries. <laughs> I knew the batteries would die, because these batteries suck. They're Kodak batteries, and I hate them. And I knew that they would die, because they die so quickly, and I just played some games with this controller. So, uh, right before stream, I grabbed some new ones, just in case. And apparently, I was right to. All right, what are we seeing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's uh, eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong, Michael? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ouch! What the oh fuck? Oh god! Hey, sorry, it was just too tempting. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh no. Michael's actually bad because I was just talking Lesson about how I didn't trust him. Ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, this is fun. This is really fun. Come here. Come here. Oh, come on. come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Give me some more cover. Where is another cover I can switch to? Are these the only two covers? 
Yeah? Yeah, um, that's what I thought. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. He totally is flirting with me. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Hell yeah, dude! Let's go, I called it. Where is he? Oh, come on. Okay, so I think he's gonna do a dip to the right. Peek. Damn, overshot it. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna, like, sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Are cool? you serious? No harm, no foul, then. Come on, where is he? Boom! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Won the plushie battle. That's an achievement. I'm sure there's an achievement that's also lost the plushie battle, but let's see. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Aww. Rolled it up with my world renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Can I not take it and eat? I guess not. Alright, I guess I'm allowed to sit down now. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man. Must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna with them. Only in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE. JCE, Even again. People, I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but... And... I'm done. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? We took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor. <laughs> Not our finest hour. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. Oof. Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that, trust me. <laughs> Being religious doesn't mean you gotta weaponize your religion against other people. That's a choice. Yeah, I hear you. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, 
like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. Makes sense. All right. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related, or...? Nah, but same clan. So what's your take on him? He's a pretty alright guy, all things considered. All things considered? Like, with him being a cop and all. I mean, oh, it's I like good this to guy. see someone from the clan getting shit done. And he really cares about the community. We need someone like him on top. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Oh, of Is course. That so, I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah. Figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty alright. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. Say Here's yes. A say yes. Say. Yes. <laughs> you, you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. He's I mean, not wrong. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. I'm not turning him down. <laughs> well, golly gee, Michael. Yes. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. So Michael and Tyler, ah, I'm pretty sure they, they wanted the three of them to be roommates together, right? And they were roommates. <laughs> Here we are. I'm still nervous about Michael just because of how this game goes. You spelled roommates wrong in the chat. Hit the right over. There's no two M's. You sure we can't drive you back? <laughs> nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and they were roommates. Parents grave. Roommates. Far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. Does roommates need two M's? Go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. No, it does have two M's, but should it? It doesn't need to. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Are you gonna... Oh, are you following me now? 
I want a memory to trigger. So, do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. It's probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Unky see, unky do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Okay, I don't feel like I want to just move on. Because funerals and like cemeteries just aren't... They aren't a vibe. And I'm also very curious about what's going to happen with Tessa. Um... Cause well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done in bed. Sure and simple. I like it. Uh, There's only a handful left. I don't like cutting cutting dialogue off. Lewis, wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while, his face pops up. Super weird. Okay. Where are you going? I guess not then. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Guess again. See so yeah, a tinglet. I think that's how you say it. Culture is apparently a big part of this game. I haven't really seen too much. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. But I think that's why Michael... I think that's why Michael was, like, taking guns away from my people is wrong. Or, like, doesn't help. No dice. So, yeah. It's... De Leon. Because it was called That's the one. Oh, found Don't it. Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Please don't tell me we're about to end the chapter on the funeral scene and we're not going to be able to see Tessa. Really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe Tessa will be there. <sighs> do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? 
I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I promise to return, Allison promised to visit. But I'm gonna come to see visit. you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. I feel like Tyler's would be true. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. Or Allison's, Keith I think Brown's this was. gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. Are we going this way? I mean, this seems like the logical way forward. I don't know. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. She lost one of her only friends. She was always what? saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. All right, let's keep walking, see if we can find it. I wonder if anyone's ever speed ran this game. This one? Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. This one has candles, so it's probably not hers, but I mean, let's be here look somewhere. at it. Not uh, this one. Still not the one. Yeah, the candles one didn't make sense, because no one's gonna leave her candles right now. This might take a while. Um. Oh crap, there it is. Oh wow. This is gonna be harsh. That was. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Tessa? 
kids. I, uh, I... I wasn't expecting to see... But what are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Not true, you just gotta get famous. Letting hers just <laughs> fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... What? Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? A lot? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Oh, this is a big one, because there's no timer. Definitely not X. You could have done better. But I'm also Tyler right now, and that's not something you'd say. Crap, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, I've been trying to make Tyler less, like, aggressive because that always destroys relationships with him. Let's go with a nice little nuanced answer. Help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't Tessa, yell at her. I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Thank God. <laughs> I'm done losing people. 
And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Hydrate time. I love how doing very dramatic and emotional fun. moments. Yeah, it was. Uh, it I can just play the Minecraft yeah. drinking. I guess sometimes noise. people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. Yeah, nice. Maybe I'll just finally okay. bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. Nice. Uh, we just got an achievement for making peace with her. Oh, I guess we're sitting down. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Well... This reunion's kind of gone off the rails, huh? Oh, you mean how we kind of turned Delos Crossing upside down and shook out all its nasty secrets? Yeah, but at least now we know what really happened. I can't thank you enough, by the way. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not going to be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. I don't really know what to Tessa. say. This has been like Ready. an interesting chapter. And when she heard social services was coming, she she gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely something missing. I, it still I don't feels like there's something missing. Right? I don't think she was even trying to kill her kids. I keep saying this, but I don't know. I think that's a chapter three kind of thing. I I'm pretty sure we're gonna come to an end in a little bit. You're with never this one. gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. That's probably always gonna feel that way. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. 
We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Surely Sam did this, right? Oh my god. I thought it'd be Sam, but I thought Sam was like upset, but that does not look like Sam. Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. This is the first time we've seen like an actual modern villain. Right now we've been looking at the past and now we see like some random person trying to burn down our barn for some reason? May not a villain, but there's something else here, clearly. There, there was... A, a guy. He, he smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. The Mad Hunter? Why would someone try to burn down our barn? It seems the Mad Hunter is real. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. So, did Chief Brown teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Nice. Did he really have to smash everything? I might have found something. I'll look at it in a sec. Okay, can I get past the fire extinguisher? You were Jesus. looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Huh. At least you were spared. Yeah, baby. Another one for the collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really turned this place upside down. Well, at least he left us the junker. Right, let's check out what she was telling me to look at. He went looking Oops. under the rug? Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? <laughs> huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt bird chickens. She was always saying how she was going to make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. Then she died! Is that a box under oh, the Oh, I already barn? listened to this. Yeah. God damn it. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm going to need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? This guy went on a tear. There it is. I guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. How is it not hot as hell in there? Like, they should not be touching that stuff with their bare hands after a fire. Well, I only know one person That's creepy. who bothered to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. Am I really gonna have to look for it? Alright, let's hope that's on the front page and I don't have to look through all of the pages. But it looks like an eye. Wait. Is this one? Wait, which one? This one? Which one did she say way on, you rat? Three digits. Any ideas? Oh, so I do have to look for it. Man I, I can't really just. Hey, 
Doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the book? That's it. Look, it's the same symbol, the secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. Oh crap, wait. Hang on. Fucking hell. Hey. I need this dialogue again. Look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? I was moving way too quick. Okay. Secret keeper. The goblins are in their voids. Once upon a time in the deep and ancient forest, the Katugan spied on the secret keeper. She made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How? said the first goblin. Does she get other people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblin watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the star stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I couldn't bear to remember. Uh, Nodding gazed into stalwart moose's eyes. The goblins couldn't hear anything they needed speaking in the, to the moose using the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, the moose blinked. I feel lighter. Did I just give you something? Uh, she nodded, hold, handing him a coin. He nodded and lodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. Uh, whistled innocently. I need to know what the secret was. Let's go buy it. Um, her voice on the mind produced silver handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess and the secret keeper nodded uh, and that's how they came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death I want to know more hoping to find they followed her to a peak of nearby watch as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud when they she had gone Jesus there's so much to read dude wait when she gone, they climbed... Oh, so she stowed the secrets in a cloud. When she left, they climbed a high spruce tree, reached out, and managed to dip their hand in the clouds. Their heads filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out as if they had just thrust them... As if they had just thrust them in boiling water. Tears poured down their trees. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets. Give them back. They stopped crying because it's not an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange? I'll give you back the silver handle of the hairbrush. For so many secrets? Pshaw, you'll have to offer more than that. What if I shared the gift of voice? That will do. So she shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found out that they can hear each other's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. They ran back. They gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wind house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was blank. They tried to speak to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. The secret keeper was ca craftier than crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use this gift of voice with each other and not with the whole forest. Okay, so that's why they can talk to each other in their mind, I guess. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. Wait, no. Preferably without destroying the box. No, I don't want to break it. I want to figure out the, the the numbers. Oh, they're just written there. Great. There's a zero there. There's a one there. And there's a three there. It's one, three, zero. That did it. Big brain. Money moves. I don't need to break shit, bitch. <laughs> I think she didn't know how much of an ass he turned out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I, ch I chase after all the new girls in Dell's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with the my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Fuck. Marianne, I'm sorry in this situation. I know you feel you'd make this a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. Push Marianne to get an abortion. She, oh, wait. Even though she wanted to keep us. Okay, wait. Okay, now that he's done talking. I'm sure you're in this. I, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. But right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. 
But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Do you think he came for the letters? He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Mary Ann, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Oh, wow. Allison! Allison! That's... I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? Mad Hunter. Wait, there was someone here that night in the woods? No, it was just I, I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? So the Mad Hunter. Mad Hunter might be delusions then. What? Just children no. making things that, up in their mind. That was the Mad Hunter. What? Right? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Damn, he ran straight for it. No stops, no turns, he was on a mission. Where? Oh my god. This is actually so interesting because now I don't know if there is any fictional characters or if they're all just delusions of Tyler, a child. Not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's. I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. I don't want to make just it about me. one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Hydrate. <laughs> how... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. 
But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try. What the hell happened here? Okay. Anyway. Uh, trigger it. Come on. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Man, <laughs> it's so hard to just understand what to do. Ouch, watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Yeah. Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's just so much mystery and illusion and it's kids' memories. But right now they need you. It's not going to happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> Listen. Well, we completed chapter two. Look at that, guys. What the fuck? <laughs>
Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's, uh... This, this... This game is just so interesting, man. Alright, let's look at consequences. Tyler felt relied on when Allison chose his memory at the house. Where was that? Which one was that? I chose Tyler's memory, but I don't remember where. Oh, it's, uh, about Marianne. Tyler felt heard about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. 64% refused the appointment. Yeah. Hydrate. What's up, Jazz? Allison felt let down when Tyler couldn't forg forgive Eddie. Man, I really struggled to get through that sentence. I'm on the minority on not forgiving Eddie, but he's a cop. <laughs> Eddie was sorry that Tyler couldn't forgive him. Michael was heartened, heartened by Tyler's compliment. I'm glad that the majority of people are accepting his compliment. And the majority of people are, are forgiving Tessa, which is fair. Interesting. I don't know if this is going to continue There's the game. something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think this might just be a... I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. This might just be, like, foreshadowing for the next chapter, which is happening on Friday. I'm going to play through it completely on Friday. Uh, 4 p.m. EST, just like this one. And we're going to finish this game up. Then I'll probably play off stream to get some of the achievements done. But holy shit, I'm drained emotionally from this game because that has been insane. And I am low-key kind of tired. And also, I really have to pee. So, <laughs> yeah. um, It's, dude, I'm just like, oh, crap. Sorry, I just got a Discord message. Um, okay, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been really interesting. Is my mic okay? Is my mic, like, making a weird noise? Because I got a message saying that it was. So, if it is, it might be because my computer is, uh, it's fine? Okay. Um, I just got a message that was, like, it was making a hissing noise, but I don't know. Anyway, it's been hella fun. This game is very interesting, and I cannot wait to see what happens with it, because it is, um, there's just so much mystery. Because it's, like, it's from the viewpoint of a kid, of two kids who, from 10 years ago, who probably don't remember everything. Like, they probably don't remember, you know, I mean, obviously, we we know that some of the memories they have are disputed between the two of them. Plus... They probably have, it's either delusions and they just think they're seeing some monsters from their book of goblins or they're real. I think that they're fake. This doesn't seem like the game to have real, but then again, they have telepathy, so we don't know what's real. But, um, anyway, I think we should look into, I think we should think about that sneaky, that, what is it called? The, the keepers of the, the memories, whatever that guy's name was. We should keep that story in mind because that's the idea. That's how they got their voice, which I feel like is going to have some real world implications. Otherwise, anyway, my teeth hurt. My, my mouth hurts. I've been talking way too much. Helga's live. Let's see what Helga's up to. Peaceful series. I love the peaceful series. Let's, let's rate Helga. Helga. I'm really bad at talking now after three hours. Clearly. Let's raid Helga, because the Peaceful series is pretty cool. Anyway, holy crap. I am, I am, I'm, I'm all over the place now after all this. Wow, it's been really interesting to see this story go through. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow with another stream, probably some ISMP, hopefully. Uh, and other than that, I am gonna go eat some damn food, because it's been so long. Goodbye.